Hey everyone, so today I'm doing my makeup routine and I know I already have my eyeliner on. I cannot do it on camera. If I try to do it on camera, I'd just mess up and do terrible. So that is why. So the first product that I'm actually showing on camera is my Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express Mascara. I use the blackest black. Um, I never use eyeliners that's brown or gray, and I never use mascara that is not black. Um, so yeah. Then, as you see, I use I put it on, and then I let it dry a little bit. The first layer, I suppose. And I apply it again. It creates like a very volume or voluminous and long eyelash look, and I like it. The next product I'm using is YSL Touche. It's a blur primer from YSL, and I like it. And I got a sample and it's lasting forever, so it's probably really good. I've only used it a couple times. But so far, I like it. The next thing I do is I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in almond. And then I mix it with one little dab of Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade nude ivory while that is going on and while I'm showing that I'm mixing it on the camera I use the new age instant rewind eraser in ivory as you can see coming up is that I'm going to be putting the concealer under my eyes and I'm only use what looks like quite a bit but I'm basically just creating two giant triangles to cover up some of the redness that go happens to be around my nose a little bit on my nose to define it along with it on my chin where I have a couple of like just gross like little aftermarks or like the after I guess it's like the after effects of having a little bit of pimples on my chin they're like going away but you can still kind of see them um, then as you can see I'm using the mixture of foundation on my hand to blend it all in I think I'm answering Anthony, honestly. <laughs> Oops. I'm not paying attention to what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, I... It ends up looking really good and really natural because it keeps my under eyes bright and it kind... The concealer, the way it is, and the foundation the way it is, it keeps it looking tan like I need to be, but also not like too tan. I don't know. Anyway, I use the Real Technique Beauty Sponge to to um, blend everything in. I find that that's the best way to apply the foundations and concealers that I'm using. Um, I haven't found a good brush for that. So, anyway, as you can see, the next thing I'm going to use is the um, Extraordinary Translucent Powder by Siate London. I absolutely love this powder. I think it's so good. Um, Anyway, 
I just take a little bit, so it'll last a while anyway because of how little I take. But I just put it in my T-zone and on my chin and a little on my neck. Just mattifying everything else that needs to be matt. I don't use highlighter. I don't know why. I just don't. So the next thing I'm using is like an Ulta or something um, contour palette. If you looked at my contour palette, it literally looks dreadful. Every, I'm hitting pan on every single... I've hit pan on three of them and completely used three of my contour things. And I've hit pan on the other three. So it might be time to get a new one. The next thing I use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Taupe. Right now, don't judge my eyebrows. I'm growing them out because I'm going to be going to a new esthetician where I live. And I want her to do them. Anyway, Anthony just got home from work. Excuse how dirty he looks. Because he just got home from work. He works construction right now. So, I mean, he literally looks like he rolled in dirt. talking about now oh okay lipstick i'm using maybelline in 655 darling daring daringly nude and anyway i must just say that it's like time to end this okay subscribe comment and give it a like thanks